Oh, <laughs> the husband is doing some yard work. <laughs> We're back home. Every time we travel, we always get inspired on ideas and what we could do in our own home. The issue is time. Time is so valuable. Single people, enjoy your sleep-ins, enjoy, enjoy all of that, but also maximize it because now I, I just wish I had more time than I currently have. So, what you doing? I am building a house, a new home, by hand. By hand. You know those YouTube videos? <laughs> <laughs> you know the. <laughs> creating an area for Saga to have like towers yeah so I'm just gonna have like a playground and we're gonna build like a play tower with a slide and I was thinking this area we could turn it into Saga's little own gardens which I was like oh my gosh that's so great maybe she could have even planter boxes to even make it easier and we can color them yeah so yeah we're gonna take all of these things over here build something over here so that's fun because we have all this land and just not enough time <laughs> and like I started the sunflower patch but travels we traveled so much this summer Barcelona Amsterdam Copenhagen Italy Toronto yeah. Oh, this playground, I hope, is a gift for my daughter for her tw second birthday. I want to make this playground uh, a little bit timeless. Um, obviously, she's not going to want to play here when she's 12, 13. Uh, but I want this to be a play part that she can enjoy at least from now. And then maybe progressively grow into it as well. Maybe there will be elements that she's a bit too young for now. But I'd rather do that for foresight, right? So I have a lot to thank the fact that we went to Toronto recently because I just got a lot of inspiration. And I think that's, uh, again, a life lesson for me that branch out to the adventures, seek for adventures, but come back to your, your roots and where you feel grounded and bring that inspiration to and action. So let's keep working. So Farfar came and he picked up Saga on the way from daycare too. So not only did he bring what I requested, he also brought my daughter. So that's concrete yes. that we're gonna use in the ground to stabilize these. We're probably gonna have to chop these down. And then we have the slide. And Saga has no idea what we're doing. <laughs> So today, <laughs> if it's not raining, that means it's a good day. So Maya had this brilliant idea today that we we're gonna do a photo shoot. When it comes to like DIY or photo shoot and ideas, creative ideas, she's the best. Like she really comes alive so much. And so she has this vision. So let's go check what she wants. So the vision is sunflowers. We didn't plant all these sunflowers just to eat them. No, no, no. We're doing photo shoots. We're gonna lie on the ground. Damn you! I'm doing some color grading on our on a project that me and Maya were working on. Oh, this is the one when we went to Guatemala! <laughs> Casa Materna! <laughs> so when we filmed, we knew it was going to be for September. Well... Yes, I, don't, I, I even like told August. them... I think I even told them like, oh, don't expect anything until... Yeah. I knew it was going to take time, so... Yeah, Which feels good when you manage your expectations, it's so much easier. Yeah, so good thing there's not much, I mean, for you, travel 
has canceled because um, you have thick hair too. <laughs> I know. It's so funny because Max and I were like, where did Saga get her hair from? Yeah, because I have super... You have super thick hair. I haven't like done your hair since Los Angeles. So I forget how... What did you do with my hair back I cut then? your hair that you don't remember. You cut my hair? Yeah, I cut your hair. I don't remember that. No, it looks fun. The fine curls. How do I look? It's a real question. This looks cool. Cool. Thank you. Cool. 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 <laughs> Will you bring the reflector? If you ever plan on doing a shoot where you're lying on the ground, I highly recommend putting a pillow, even a bowl under your head. Anything that gives your head like volume because if you don't, your shoulders and your back will create like this arch and that's going to be the angle, guys. Isn't this so creative? <laughs> Let's see the curls, Max, the curls. <laughs> so I just need to go get some flowers. Yeah, I can see that. So I got some sunflowers, some sun, cue the sun. Like that's going to look so cute. Right? Yeah. Come on. My butt here? Good? Yeah, let's see. Oh, this on your chest. This is my, my, oh. my casket. Oh. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? It's so windy. Are we going to do the opposite side? Yeah. We did it! The vision accomplished! The sun came out! <laughs> so we're done with this shoot. Now we're going to go in, in there. In there, over there, in there. Something like that. I'm gonna be eaten alive, but that's what it's gonna be worth. Whew. Oh, blueberries. So where this idea was born was that I wanted to showcase how I'm using the forest right where our house is. And the, the truth is I complain a lot about space and accessibility and stuff on the countryside, right? But when you are here where we live, and you have the free to roam Alemansretten where you're allowed to basically be anywhere and walk anywhere in nature in Sweden. We technically have a living room and a whole studio in the forest and you see how the light hits through the trees, the greens, like it is like such a blessing to have this. So I wanted to sort of, the idea was like, oh, it's kind of like our living room. I'm gonna get the rest of my props, my camera and Maya as my photographer. I'm gonna ask her to take the photos. It's so gross. Okay, that's the thing about living with nature. Like, it's just gross. <laughs> it's beautiful. And, ew, there's a spider there. Ugh. It's like pregnant. Okay. Oi. Okay, I, I've been, there's like so many mosquitoes and I'm being eaten alive. So the key to this look is neutral. So now I'm going to set up this light because he wants to be lit in his face. I ordered this online. This is funny. I ordered this online and forgot I ordered it. 
because it comes with portable batteries instead of having to be plugged in. No, but more like decor in the background or something, like hanging it in the tree. But... Shall we discuss the pet peeves I have as a photographer? Horizontal photos are out and vertical is in, and it's the only thing. Photographers, please shoot vertical and horizontal. <laughs> Okay, so I look ridiculous because the mosquitoes are relentless. They just no chill. So how'd it go, Max? This is the outfit. This is actually my wedding suit that still fits. It's a bit tighter. Yeah, Maya <laughs> got me these plastic flowers from Dollar Store. I sewed them on. Yeah, you sewed them on upon my request. It looks so good, Maya. Thank you so much. It's fun, my love. It's really fun when you have ideas and you're inspired it's really inspiring for me too when i see you really in your element and it's fun shooting because we is. really don't take advantage we as are, much like, as we should our, like we the fact that we can sit here and have a photo shoot like people would pay money to yeah location be in scouting location, yeah. yeah so we got to take advantage of what we have access to Is this the look? Bye! Bye. Have fun today, you two. Today's Saturday and last week I bumped into my friend who I haven't seen forever because we've had guests, we've been traveling, but now we're back. And her name is Lovelyn. And listen, when I see brown people, I'm like, hey. <laughs> I do the black girl nod, so I didn't get to make eye contact with her in the store. So I was outside, um, I went outside after, and then she came out, and I did the black girl nod. <laughs> and then she came and started talking to me. We started talking, and I finally have a weekend off from work, so I'm gonna go catch up with her. Join me as we go to a cute restaurant. We're gonna go to a cute restaurant. I also need to do some shopping, so. That's the plan for Saturday, while Max takes care of Saga. <laughs> this girl, she gives me no, no rest. Let's take a drive. We're gonna go to Erebro. See you there. Look who is on the road. <laughs> I swear, Saga is a different being with me than she is with Max. Like, she just knocked out. She rarely just knocks out with me. I shouldn't say that. I find more often than not, she wants to be awake with me as long as possible, as long as physically possible. <laughs> Anyways, let's go, let's do this lunch. Let's have our girls cakey mail man. So, I'm here. They have an H&M home. H&M is from Sweden. Fun fact. <laughs> I'll give you a little tour of my favorite city. This city is called Örebro and this is the city that Max and I got married in, Saga was baptized and I don't know I just look for excuses to come here and I don't even come here often but when I have the excuse to I will. Let's go here. bought um, a bed sheet that's on sale. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of like rushing to wash and dry in the same day and not have bed sheets. 
Um, so I bought bed sheets. I also bought um, a booster pillow for Saga because she just sits on a chair now, but she's struggling to <laughs> uh, get her head over the table. Um, what else am I? I got a bunch of stuff, just like little knickknacks, like home stuff. So now I'm running late. I have to go see my friend Loveland. Loveland, I'm sorry. I'll see you soon. I do. Looks like it. Uh, so, like it's colorful. <laughs> Toronto? Again? Toronto. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Being a mom. So is this the chicken? Hmm? Oh. Hmm. You like it? Yeah. Why are you saying bye? Max is gonna go get some sand, okay? He's gonna <laughs> spend 300 kroners on some sand that I don't even know if I want Saga playing in sand. It's not the much about this, her playing in it, it's more uh, for uh, the ground. Okay. I can't wait to see this play part. Yes, well, we're getting there. Well, I could just go and buy a pre-made thing, but of course, I am doing it myself. So I borrow this slap. You've seen me use a slap before. I'm gonna go to a local, he calls it the, the gravel hole. He has everything from gravel, soil, sand. Uh, he usually delivers it to our home or a home, uh, but it's a bit more costly because you have to pay for the transport. And I don't need that much, I think. Let's go. This would be a great spot to do some shady business, I guess. We're not doing shady business. I'm just getting some sand. Okay, so I got the sand. 800 kilos right here. He said that I should put some more air into the tires because they're a bit low. But look at this place. Look. <laughs> Will this be enough is the real question though. So now I just have to drive home, drive slow, drive safe. Good thing I have a strong car. This was about like a 50 minute drive from our home. So let's get back home, unload this in the garden and uh, let's see what we can use out of this. Let's go. I'll tell you what Max is. He is Mr. Get It Done. Like. <laughs> Once he has like a to-do list, he loves just crossing things off. <laughs> um, but look at all this, look at all this sand. Well, that's sand all right. I have to change some clothes. I was looking way too good to do this work. 
Let's unload this. If you want to get into hot composting or say you attempted to hot compost and it wasn't hot, honestly, just throw on some grass. Cover that whole thing with grass. It will be hot. It will be hot so quick. <laughs> You're gonna wonder why I didn't do this sooner. Like this is so good. We're digging the second hole and we're so deep that the water is coming up from underneath. So it's full of water here now. It's like a it's like a little pond. <laughs> Look at that. Keep digging, Dig digging for gold. Let's go. There's mosquitoes. Come. <laughs> <laughs> 